If you want to learn how to install and configure the Simple Mining Operating System, or SMOS, on your GPU mining rig and you don't really know where to start, you've landed on the right channel. Because we're going to go step by step and we're starting right now. Welcome to the Savage Mind YouTube channel. I'm Charles, and if this is your first time here and you want to learn more about building and maintaining a GPU cryptocurrency mining rig and other crypto related stuff, please be sure to like and subscribe and share and all that stuff and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything in the future. Because you don't really want to miss out on the stuff that I put out, right? I mean, like the videos and stuff. Timestamps are going to be down below in the description, so if uh, I get to rambling and stuff like that and you need to just jump to whatever you came here for, it should help you out a little bit there. So this is video number five in a series where I take you through a complete GPU cryptocurrency mining rig build from start to finish. We started with what parts we were going to buy, we built it, we built the frame, we installed the components, we uh, went in and configured the BIOS, and now it's time to install SMOS, or Simple Mining OS. And that's what this video is going to be about. I'll put links to the other videos in this series, so if you need to jump around a little bit, or if you're looking for something specific, that should help you out. Also, I'm really curious. I want to know in the comments below what your favorite mining opera operating system is. Uh, if it's not SMOS, you know, and you like HiveOS or EthOS or... Um, you know, awesome miner or what, that's not really an operating system, but, um, you know, let me know and let me know why too. So what are you going to need to get started? Well, the first thing you're going to need is a valid email address that you have access to because you're going to use that to register with simplemining.net. The second thing you're going to need is a system running Windows or Mac OS that has internet access. The third thing you're going to need is a system with a GPU that you plan on booting into Simple Mining OS because Simple Mining OS is a uh, GPU mining operating system. The fourth thing you're going to need is a wired internet connection. Simple Mining OS does not support wireless connections. However, if you look on this rig right here, that rig and the one underneath it are actually running wirelessly using Simple Mining OS. Uh, if there's a little bit of an interest on how to do that, Maybe I can do a video about that in the future. Just let me know in the comments below. The fifth thing you're gonna need is a storage device, whether it's a USB thumb drive or an SSD or something like an old um, platter hard drive works also. Uh, but whatever you choose, it has to be at least seven gig in size. I mean, typically they don't make a seven gig uh, USB. Usually it's eight, 16, 32, you know, like that and uh, most SSDs are way more than seven gig. So, um, so you don't have to worry about that. Right now, probably the best option is a USB because of the cost. You can get a 32 gig S uh, USB for, I think I paid $11 for the ones that I'm running back there on, on those rigs, and they're 32 gig, which you only need seven. So um, it's a pretty good deal. You don't have to waste an SSD on it, however, there are some benefits to using an SSD. Uh, I don't know if it's just the motherboard that I'm using or what, but sometimes whenever the rig has to be rebooted or you lose power and then it boots back up, sometimes if you're using a USB, it won't boot and it goes straight to BIOS like it doesn't see the USB. And in order to recover from it, you have to remove the USB from that port and plug it into a different port and then boot the computer. So I don't know. I haven't figured that out. It might be something I'm doing, some bio setting or something, but uh, that doesn't happen with an SSD. The SSD seems to boot fine all the time, but, uh, well, not but, and it's also faster to flash an SSD than it is a USB. A USB being flashed with SMOS, it, I think it takes like 15 minutes. With an SSD, it's more like two. So it's a lot faster with an SSD. So that's enough of me yapping, let's get to it. The first thing you're gonna do is go to simplemining.net and register an account. Even before you click register, you can actually download the appropriate image for your hardware. If you have RX series AMD cards, you would choose this image. If you have Nvidia, you would choose this image as well. If you have older cards, the AMD cards, you could choose the R series, you could choose this image. 
I'm going to click on this one because we're going to be using NVIDIA cards for this install. It'll take a little bit of time, so I'll speed this part up. While your image is downloading, it would be a good time to register by clicking on register at simplemining.net. You'll need to provide a valid email address and a password of at least 10 characters. You'll also have to agree to the end user license agreement and click register. If everything is correct, you'll get a green bar message that an email has been sent to you with further instructions. That email will contain an account activation link URL and you'll need to click it to actually be able to log on to the website. The next step is to run etcher.io. This is the utility, it's a flashing tool and it's the utility we're gonna to use to burn the image that we just downloaded, the Simple Mining OS image to the USB drive or the SSD. We're gonna click on etcher.io right here. We're gonna click download for Windows x64 64 bit and then what you would do is go into your downloads folder and run it and install it so i'm going to run etcher like this since i already have it installed i'm going to choose select image you can go ahead and choose this. Even though it's a zip file, it'll still work. If you um, select it and choose open, the Etcher program is smart enough to know that the image is inside of the zip file. So you, cl you click it, you select it, and then you choose open. I haven't inserted the drive yet, but we're gonna take our thumb drive and we're gonna go over to the computer and uh, put it in the machine, put it in the computer that we're going to burn it, burn the image, put it in the computer that we're going to use to burn the image, the Simple Mining OS image to the thumb drive. All right. During this process, you might see this come up a few times asking about formatting the drive. You always want to choose no because you don't want it to interfere with what you're doing. And you're going to be erasing the drive anyway whenever you choose uh, the drive and then you choose flash. I inserted the USB, so now I'm going to click select drive. It should show up on here and it does. It's the verbatim store and go USB device, 32 gig. So I'm going to select that, make sure the green check mark is only next to that one, and then click continue. And then you're going to click flash. And just to note, over here it does say zip, and that's okay. You click flash. If this crazy thing comes up and asks, ask you to format the disk after you just burn the image to it uh, you should choose cancel because if you format it then you just you're gonna erase what you just did right make sense and it also does some validating it takes a little while I'll fast forward through this part okay so it's uh, finishing up here actually it just finished now here's the thing though because it says fat flash complete so you want to close that now, if you go into look at your drives, all the different drives that you have, well, it doesn't show up, right? So this hangs, this, this trips a lot of people up. Well, what you have to do is you have to uninsert the USB thumb drive from the computer and reinsert it, okay, for it to recognize it. This trips a lot of people up. So I'm just gonna come over to the computer Unplug it, plug it back in, and again, whenever it asks for you to format it, you're going to want to choose no because, you know, if you do, then you'll just overwrite everything that you just did or erase everything. Choose cancel. Then now you'll see the, dr the drives over here. You got USB drive G and H. Yours Yours may be something totally different, 
but um, it'll be you know something similar. You'll see two two new USB drives, okay? And the lowered numbered or the lowered lettered one is going to have a config.txt file on it. So you go ahead and double click on config.txt, and this is where I was talking about earlier, where there's an email address in here that you have to change to the one that you use to register with simplemining.net, right? You change that to whatever it is that you use to register with simplemining.net. In my case, it was my uh, Savage Mine email address, so I'll put that in here. And then I'm going to click Save, or File Save. And then get out of here. And that's pretty much all you can do. Whenever you click on this other drive, it's going to act like it can't read it, right? And the reason that it does that is because it, it's a uh, Ubuntu Linux drive. I think it's like, um, I can't remember the file system name. Uh, hmm. I don't remember. I should remember, but I don't. Um, but that's why if you don't have some certain utilities on your computer, on your Windows 10 machine to actually see the disk and read the drive, uh, then it's going to think that it's corrupt or there's something wrong with it. This part right here, you can just click cancel. You don't want to reformat, okay? Um, then you'll just, uh, I believe you can right click, eject, right, to, to, take, to get the uh, USB drive out. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to walk right back over to the computer and take the thumb drive out. And then we can actually put it in our rig and boot our rig to it. So that's what I'm going to do now. There's the drive right there that, that I just inserted. Now you just gotta make sure that your uh, BIOS of your mining rig motherboard is set to um, boot off of the USB, right? So we're gonna power this bad boy on. So if you go to, I think it's boot, and then you're gonna have boot options here, boot option one and boot option two. I always have, well, on this rig, I have USB as the first boot option. I do have a SATA drive here as well um, with Windows 10 on it, but I don't ever boot to it. I, I, I just use uh, simple mining and that's it. Um, so it's gonna boot off of the USB. If you only have the USB and you don't have a SATA, just choose, you know, disabled. Um, it might not even have that option if you only have one thing in here. I believe it'll just automatically boot off of it. I don't, I don't know for sure. Um, then we're going to exit, save changes and exit, get out of here. And now it's going to boot into uh, Simple Mining. Once you see this screen, that's a good thing. That means that it's, that it's working. I think I've seen this before. I think I've been here before. I believe maybe the first time you boot off of it, it doesn't work. It, it gets stuck right here. Not really stuck, but it just, it thinks that um, it's trying to talk to the, trying to use one of the GPUs that's actually plugged into the motherboard and not the onboard, I believe. I don't remember, but I think, I think you can um, just power it off here 
and power it back up and I believe that it will boot all the way into uh, Simple Mining OS, so let's see. It looks like we got a problem because usually it goes ahead and boots into Simple Mining OS pretty easily. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. I was being a little impatient there, I guess. Once you see it talking to simplemining.net, you should be able to go to your console. So go back to your website, simplemining.net. And it should show up. I think that it'll show up. And yeah, I see it, it, it picked up like the old name. I was trying to make it all like brand new, but it didn't, it's not gonna work. So, um, even though it's a new image, it knows that that machine has been registered on the site before. But typically you're gonna have no name right here, and then you can just click on it and give it a name, click save, and then you can go in here and configure it after that. So this one's already configured, but I'm gonna cover all that in later videos because I'd like to do like a series of how to mine so-and-so, how to mine whatever um, on Simple Mining OS. In the comments below, make sure that you put like what coin you want me to cover and, uh, and I'll do a video on how to mine that particular coin if it's possible uh, with uh, Simple Mining OS. Okay, so that's it. Now you have SMOS up and running on your rig. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the content I put out in the future. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time.